let's step back to 1999 or 2000 or whenever we filed that. Um, first of all, it was extremely courageous by Metallica because they took all the crap. And for me, I just got paid. So, you know, it wasn't. But the, the, the thing that was interesting about it was that very early on, uh, we knew, we saw the problem. Uh, I'm not so sure that the record industry, and I'm, I'm just being charitable there, had any idea of how big the problem was. There was all this crap about how sales are better than they ever were, and Napster is flourishing, and you know, it was just, it just, what, what, what was really going on is the sales would have been even better, except people were stealing, and it just wasn't as big a problem. Um, and you know, there's, there's all these arguments. And frankly, I don't, I don't buy any of them. This thing was a disaster. It was obvious it was a disaster. The Napster case, the, the, the question is whether this litigation is particularly helpful. No, in the long run, in the long run, you're not going to stop technology with litigation. Litigation moves very slowly. Technology moves very fast. The Napster case was actually significant in that it really handicapped the, uh, for lack of a better word, I'll call them thieves, in their ability to uh, purvey their theory because it, the Napster case determined that you can't have like a firewall or a central server. You have to have this decentralized, uh, you know, peer-to-peer -peer, uh, software and and that made it very vulnerable. Now, having said that, the record companies, I believe, were slow to act on that vulnerability of the of the peer-to-peer -peer systems. And then, what we've ingrained is an entire generation that doesn't believe you should pay for music. And I think it's now moved beyond a peer-to-peer -peer problem. It's just problems all over the place. But at least the litigation established some rules that made it a little hard to to propagate the peer-to-peers. And uh, you know. Suing, I, I look. I, I was. I won't hide it. I was a big advocate in 2000 for suing consumers, and everybody's going, "How can you sue, sue our customers?" And I go, "They're not your customers. They're stealing your product." And I think it was the right thing to do, but maybe the timing was too late. Because now it's just there's a whole host of other problems. I mean, you know, somebody somebody uh, buys or steals a CD, they rip it onto their computer, they IM it to everybody in the dorm, and there it is. I, mean, I don't know what you do about that. So. So there was an opportunity, I believe, that was lost early on in the battle, and now I think there's just a, a mindset that just doesn't value music anymore or values it very little. And that's, that's sad to me because musicians and, and songwriters work really hard, and I think they should be paid. And I think people, you know, even the, you know, well, if they're rich rock stars, they, they have all the money they need. Well, I represent a lot of songwriters that don't make money anymore because they don't get paid because when you, when you, when you download something and don't pay for it, the songwriter has no way to make money. He can't go on tour. Nobody's going to buy a Billy Steinberg t-shirt or, you know, Diane Warren t-shirt. So they're limited to writing songs. And if there's no money make, made writing songs, they're not going to make any money. Mm -hmm. I, I haven't run the economics on an idea of, of uh, taxing the hardware. The big, the big idea five years ago was, you know, uh, add, add, ISP, add a fee to the ISPs. Um, that was the big idea and everybody's big proponents of that. There are guys that just, just go on and on and on about you should make a deal with the ISPs. And if you, again, I haven't run the numbers on the hardware tax, run the numbers on the ISP tax or the ISP V add-on. What, what do you think people would pay? A dollar, two dollars? There's maybe a hundred million broadband in the United States, probably less. So you're charging a two dollars a month, say, it's four hundred million dollars, uh, uh, two hundred million dollars a month times twelve months, that's two and a half billion dollars used to be a $12 billion industry. The numbers just don't work. I mean, it just doesn't work. I mean, the economics just all fall apart. Now, you can say, well, the industry is too bloated and should be better run. But, you know, again, I'm, I'm happy with that if people aren't buying because they don't like it. They're, if they're not buying because they're taking, that doesn't really work for me.